Live report on that in a moment. First, though, we are learning that the death of a woman pulled from a suspicious apartment fire could soon be treated as a homicide. Kimberly Howard live on 2nd Avenue in Lansingburg, where that fire broke out on May 1st. Kimberly, police are now awaiting autopsy results. They are Ann and Cody for 82 year old Grace Halton, who lived in this apartment building, which is now boarded up. Neighbors tell me they started seeing flowers and candles assembled here on the street over the weekend, and now they're calling for justice. She was always like hanging out on the porch. Everybody saw her every day. She would walk up the street. Now a memorial of candles, flowers, and balloons in 82-year-old Grace Halpin's place. It was sad enough to see the place boarded up and knowing somebody deliberately did this. That was sad enough. But to find out that she's gone because of it, that's not right. These people should get the maximum for what they did. Troy police are considering that very thing as they work with the district attorney's office and continue their investigation into this fire Halpin was pulled from. Investigators say Halpin was revived by paramedics after what appeared to be a heart attack. She then spent weeks in the hospital before dying a few days ago. The official results of her autopsy, the next big step. If it was found that, that this was a, that, that Grace's death or Miss Halpin's death was, was caused by another and was deemed a homicide, well, you know, then it would be a felony murder case and you'd be looking at a, a substantial penalty in addition to the arson. As far as the suspicious fire, police say this surveillance video is a key piece of evidence. And while they say they've questioned several people in relation to all this, they still need more to go on. We're obviously putting a lot of man hours into this. We want to get to the bottom of it. And, uh, and we're looking for uh, any and all help we can get from the, from the uh, public as well. The public eagerly awaiting a small piece of justice in exchange for a woman who was a big part of this neighborhood. Police are hoping for those official results of the autopsy to be released in the next few days. Meanwhile, anyone with any information on this suspicious fire is asked to call the Troy Police Department. Live in Lansingburg, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.